on air, online, on mobile. Fox Tito News at 6.30 starts right now. Two people are dead tonight after a condo complex with a history of catching fire goes up in flames again. Good evening, I'm Sean Higgerty. Here's the news from Monday, March 26th. That fire started in the G building of the Hidden Cedars Apartments around 11 last night. Fox Toledo's Nicole Collier is live in Springfield Township with where that investigation stands now. Sean, you're looking at the aftermath of what firefighters say is the fifth fire at this complex in about the last 12 years. Take a look at the damage behind me. You can see that it is pretty much almost completely burned to the ground, except for that little corner over there. Now, although the flames are out at this point, residents say what they saw will be burned in their minds forever. It sounded like really hell was on earth for about 35, 45 minutes in the beginning. Everyone was screaming. People were, they sounded like they were in mass pain in that building. Springfield Township fire officials say the fire started in this 24 unit building around 11 p.m. last night. And from the moment the call went out, it was pure horror and chaos for those who called this place home as they scrambled to get out and find loved ones that were not accounted for. Families that I know personally, um, their mothers and their selves and brothers and sisters and fathers included, um, all jumped off third story balconies. Fire officials from Monclova and Springfield Township spent hours after the smoke cleared searching for people unaccounted for, and they uncovered two bodies in the rubble. Officials say the fact that the building was built before advanced fire codes basically fueled the fire and this tragedy. One thing that I'm concerned uh, of as a fire chief is uh, how quickly it spread on us. Um, so, you know, and these, these units are, are sort of a tender box, you know, they go up pretty quickly, but uh, it, that certainly raises some concern for us on why it, why it went up so quickly. Fire officials don't have a cause for the fire at this point. However, ATF agents were on the scene looking into that this morning. Now, as for those victims we told you about, the coroner has not officially ID them at this point. In Springfield Township, Nicole Collier, Fox Toledo News. 30 adults and 39 children have found themselves without a home due to that fire. The Red Cross is currently providing emergency shelter, mental health counseling, food, and clothing to those victims. Things happen so fast when it's a, it's a building of this size, this many people affected. A lot of people are, are just looking for um, you know, a place to stay for the night, and then they come back to the uh, chapter um, where we can really take a look at what they're in need of and give them proper assistance. Damage estimates to that building are $1.5 million. Now, Hidden Cedars has been plagued by a fire, a lot of them, in the past decade. There have been five fires in various buildings, and just the past 12 years, as Nicole was telling you, the state fire marshal's office says this still has open investigations into the fires at the condo complex in 2000 and 2011, and the cause of the fires in 2006 and 2009 have been ruled undetermined. The string of fires have some tenants in other buildings thinking of moving. Others, like Natasha, have already found somewhere else to live. She moved in back in 1999 and recently moved out due to the fires. It's just been numerous of fires, you know, where in the middle of the night you just have to run out, you know, you got to stay dressed and leave the premise. You just never know when they're going to knock on your door. Certainly we'll make rec recommendations to the complex once again, uh, and I will absolutely look into it. I'm not, not certain it's within my authority to shut down the complex. Fire Chief says he will work with the complex to make sure everything is as safe as possible for those who still live there. The apartments built in the early 70s do not have firewalls and many other safety features that are now required at new multi-unit buildings.